Okay, so we have Melissa McCabe here. And uh, Brandy, since she's your uh, buddy, do you want to hype her up a little bit for us? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Oh, so Melissa McKay is probably the most positive person I've ever met in my life. Super fabulous woman. She runs her own business um, out of her home, like direct sales company also, as well as a company outside, has three wonderful children, a fabulous husband. Our boys are both like BFFs. They play on the same hockey team. And when this came up that it was like, okay, the year's coming to an end. I need somebody that's kind of got everything together. That's going to give us the best start for 2022. Nobody else came to mind, but Melissa. Cause I was like, this girl speaks everything positive. She's got the best mindset I've ever met in my whole entire life. It doesn't matter what life throws her way. She is like, I got this. So I feel like everything that Melissa is going to tell you tonight, please do yourself a favor, get your notebook out, get a piece of paper, take some notes for yourself because she's going to blow your mind with the positivity that she's bringing to you. And I feel like we are completely blessed by having her time tonight. So get ready guys. <laughs> well, Brandy, goodness, you're going to get me teary eyed before I even start. <laughs> well, thank you, Brandy. I appreciate you. And you know that, and I am so blessed and thankful that you've asked me to speak in front of, you know, your people, your team, your partners, um, your line teams. Like I, I'm just so blessed to be here. So I just need you to help me share my screen. So I just need to be disabled there. That's a Molly thing. Molly can, uh, Oh, Molly. Yours. I'm going to mute How myself do I do that? for right now. So Molly can just under share screen, Molly. Go under share screen to multiple recipient. Uh, I think it's recipient multiple recipients oh, just that pointed up arrow what? under share screen i don't I have don't... an arrow for it hold on right in the middle of the screen <laughs> just on the bottom yeah it's under so it's green in canada it says like share screen oh and... there we go okay awesome share a screen okay but then it's bringing something else up i'm sorry my brain okay I don't worry prepared. hold on um because it's going to share my desktop if i hit this just bear with me ladies bear with me you know how i am all right here we go okay so when i hit that it just goes to desktop does it show multiple before like just if you click oh, <gasps> oh goodness Oh, well, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold Got on. Got it? I think I did. Okay. So I hit the multiple. Yes, you did it. You did it. Okay. You're so now I just don't do anything. Okay. Okay. You guys, just a second. I have a Mac, so it takes some time. So my deep down desire for you all is that, yes, one, I want to motivate you guys, but I'm going to share a training just before COVID, I had done this training and, um, truth be told, it was just, oops. Um, it, um, speaks dear to my heart and it's uh, a training that I, um, am constantly just working towards, um, just living my best life and being my best life. And so I think leading into, well, what we've up, been up against, you know, with what we're in right now here in Kingston, if you're in this area or even Ontario, um, and wherever you are, we're all in this, um, place where we're just in, um, constant, just rejiggling our obstacles that are in front of us and trying to make those into opportunities. So I'm going to talk about this, but before I get started, I'm going to just share my story just so you can get a little backstory. Um, I left an old picture of my family because this one really makes me smile because my daughter's a lot younger there, but I'm a mom, like Brandy said, a mom of three, and uh, I have a stepdaughter in the middle of Harlan. My daughter um, that my husband's holding, she is now four. Um, and then my son is seven. Um, I used to be a bodybuilder, so heavily into fitness. Um, but prior to that, 
I showed nationally in equestrian riding, horseback riding. It was a huge, huge, huge part of my life. Um, and I continue to play in that world with my kids now, but because I am now a mom, life gets in the way, but I, um, still share that passion with my kids, which is awesome. But what you see here is everything that means so much to me, my family, I'm such a family, family girl, love my family. Um, I also own a marketing company and like Brandy kind of mentioned, and I'm a part of an MLM, uh, business as well. So you'll see a little bit that kind of interview because it is who I am. Oh, mm. just a second. What happened? Oh, sorry, guys. Just a second. Oh, goodness. The Google Cloud just kicked me out. Just a second. <laughs> we were doing so great. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Google. Just a moment, you guys. Goodness, right in the middle of this, this had to happen. No but worries. We all get technology. We know how it goes. <laughs> all the time. It Just get into be, it. It would not be our team Zoom night <laughs> if something didn't go awry. <laughs> so don't feel pressured or bad at all. <laughs> I'd, I'm good. Just now waiting for the iCloud. My goodness. There it goes, loading. I always tell my kids when they get like frustrated with the internet, I'm like, listen, it has to go all the way to outer space and come back. So have a little bit of patience. Yeah. Just, Hey, it's coming. You guys hold on. I gotta get, now I have to tell Mike to grab. The... All right. Okay. So now I can share here. All right. Back to it. Okay. So I kind of was sharing there just briefly about myself, but when you have many things, so lots of noise around you, what I highly suggest and what I'm going to talk about is something, a great way to start your, your weeks. Okay. So moving into January, I know we have Christmas, we have lots going on, but moving into January, we're going to talk about time blocking and Sunday setups. This has been so important to me and my team I've shared with uh, many times, and it's just a great way of painting that ideal week for yourself. So what is your desire? So this is what Sunday night setup is about. It's also Monday night. So depending on how you're busy or Sundays are, you may lead this into Monday. So I'm going to share some tips. Um, so first, this is what I draw out every Sunday, this here on the right hand side. This is the way to kindly clearly image your week. Um, first, you ask yourself what your top four goals are for the year. And it's so important to talk about that because without you actually knowing, it's hard to achieve those goals, right? So if you write it down and kind of clearly image that into your, into your mind, but most importantly, into your soul. So when you talk about this, and I'm going to get into it, is that you draw all these elements. So you think about your four goals for the year, why they're important to you, bring in the emotional component, because what emotion brings is heart. Our heart is what tells us what we truly are or what we truly desire. From there, you draw out your four weekly goals. So again, bringing emotion to it, this helps implement the outcome. Because when you think about it, when you bring in the emotion and the excitement of achieving that goal or what your, your whatever you deeply desire is to achieve that week, it brings this whole other form of vibration and what vibration brings, it brings awareness for people all around you. And this plan is so well, um, organized and my mentor shared this with me. Um, and it works. It's, it's a really cool way to kind of organize yourself and your mind. And this is part of the things that I try to do. There's some weeks. Yeah, I do forget to do it. <laughs> There's other weeks that I will not forget to do it, but it's definitely something I recommend. So as you see here, so you draw out your four weekly uh, goals after you've done your four uh, goals for the year. Um, what these goals do is to help you get closer to your year goal. 
Okay. Then what is your top four outcomes per day? So the reason why we say four is that once you get beyond four, overwhelm kind of sets in. So Brittany's on the call and she's been told this too. We have a coach as well that we deal with together. And, um, I'll say like, Oh, well I put workout in there. He's like, don't put workout in there because you're obviously going to do it. So anything that you're obviously going to do just a, a root, a ritual that you do continuously uh, like certain days of the week, you don't th put that in as an outcome, but you would maybe, um, for you guys, maybe it's reaching out to, a couple of potential customers. Maybe you're going to block that time for like 15 to 15 minutes or an hour. So working on your business, not knowing what you guys do. Um, it's hard for me to kind of base it around you, but if you have a second job, um, maybe you do have to time block that time that you put into Sensi, right? So putting those, those, um, weekly goals in check, but also those outcomes per day will truth be told, will let reduce the overwhelm into your life. Okay. Um, and make sure to give yourself the, okay, if you're not done those. And I know for myself, there's times that I'm like, oh my goodness, I didn't achieve everything in that day. And I get upset at myself. Well, don't do that. Cause it's okay. Life happens. If you have a mom, Hey, COVID's in the world. So we might have to go pick up our kids at school. And then maybe that for cho choices that you or plans that you had for that day couldn't happen. Right. So it's okay. What do you need to do to get there? So now this is the ideal. Um, now draw out further details to what each day will look like and how each day will feel. So emotion again, leads to success. So our outcome, right? Positive outcome. So when you think about, so tomorrow I'm thinking about my day and I'm like, oh, I cannot wait. Like, this is what I'm doing. I'm visualizing my day. And when you do that, um, it's amazing how great that day turns out to be right what you put your emotion into whether it's positive or negative it will almost kind of diagnose what that day will turn out to be um, this will not only provide a positive mindset to start your week but you will also provide the right energy to get outcome accomplished so do you guys have any questions so far no so this is a great way to start your weeks um, how does this make you feel when you think about it? Like when you think about this, does it make you feel confident about the week? Like for me, it does. Um, do you feel less disorganized? So if you were to do that whole plan every Monday or, or, or Sunday, Sunday's ideal, um, it, you will immediately. So I like challenge each one of you and maybe your next team call, you can see if everybody tried it, but if you do that, um, how much better will you feel after you do it? It's amazing the power of the pen and power of the writing out. Um, but I sure I almost guarantee you'll feel at ease and um, more focused. Um, this is only because you are in line with your burning desire and and your deep down purpose. So I don't know. Again, um, I'm just throwing out some ideas and just motivating you guys, but branding your social media. So this is in line with, um, this is my type of branding right here, <laughs> but keeping it simple is always super important. Um, discovering who you are is essentially part of this whole Sunday night setup or Monday night setup. So it's a little bit of a work on yourself, but it will obviously translate onto your social media. So what do you feel passionate about? Do you love, you know, do you love working out? Is there a sport? Is there shopping? I've been trained by a lot of uh, social media experts. Um, and these are kind of little tips that I've taken from them is just really drawing out on your social media, the confidence of who you are, because a lot of people, I mean, people buy for you, for you, right. They buy not about the product. It's really about you. Right. So when they get to see the inside or that, the, um, preview of who you are, um, people are nosy, they get intrigued by you. And then they want to know, oh my God, what is she selling? What is this? Or what's the scent? What is this? You know? Um, so it's very important to think about the branding perspective of social media, especially with these law. Well, let's not say lockdown, but all of this stuff that's going on in the world, we're more in front of our social, our, our phones or our computers. So most of the time I try to find three to four things that I love and plan to share weekly. So maybe it's just my kids going to see Santa and then, a, you know, whatever I'm 
sharing whatever my product is, I'll throw in there and just kind of um, planning a bit ahead is always really important. Um, over posting is the old, you want to post quality content. Um, that's really important. So really thinking and planning. So like I said, the, your Monday night or Sunday night planning um, could be associated to your social media too. So blocking some time for that. And when I say blocking, that means an hour for this, maybe on a Monday and maybe on a Tuesday, depending on what time that you have. 15 minutes is always great to do daily. 15 minutes can get you so much accomplishment um, in your business, uh, especially when it's focused. So stories are fun, fantastic. So I don't know if you guys have done any social media training before, but stories are great. I know Brandy's a social media princess. She's great at it. <laughs> so I'm sure she's talked about social media, um, but high traffic times are usually Tuesday, Thursdays and optional Saturday mornings and Sunday evenings. Um, usually three to four times a week is more than enough. So choose those days that work for you. Now, what I like to remind people almost daily and have to remind myself is that sometimes when you feel like you don't want to post, just remember that no, nobody really cares, right? Like we are so self-judgy of ourselves and really that's just us getting in our way, right? So don't care what people think. One common problem today is that we do care too much of what people think. So no one cares. Get out of your head. This thing is our is the devil, okay? Do not let this get in your way. You always try to draw in from here, not from here. Um, so what post what you believe. And when you come from the heart, people will note this in each and every one of your posts, okay? And that's my biggest, honestly, biggest, biggest point that I want to come across because I think in today's world, we're so concerned. These are the platforms I, I tend to use, but, um, I, I need to get on to TikTok actually, but <laughs> I, I do recommend it. If you guys, it could be great for your, um, international business, like over to us and Canada. So I just wanted to touch on social media, but mindset is the biggest part to our success and the success means so different to everybody. Okay. Success for me, I may see something so different than you. I see my life so different than you. And mindset is, is the biggest thing. It's subconscious. Our subconscious mind, um, is so, so powerful. And we forget that. Um, so I'm going to ask you guys one question, what emotion do you stand daily in your state of emotion? So what does that mean? How, so do you stay in a more, um, fear-based, um, emotion or in a peace emotion or like a variety? So just think about that and maybe write it down. Just take a moment to write that down. And this is just in a little exercise to just maybe dig a little deep. If you feel, <laughs> I'm looking at everybody here. <laughs> so when you write that down, ask yourself, how do you redirect your emotion? So if there's a case where maybe you've hit a little bit of fear base or like a negative base, which is okay, this is life for humans. Do you stay in that emotion or do you easily like maybe three clicks get out of that emotion or do you just sit in it all day? And this is just a question I ask, and I know this is not a therapy session, but this is so amazing how fundamental this is. Um, this is where we live. This is our emotional, this emotions right now with COVID. I mean, there's so many emotions, especially um, with the news and everything in our way um, or the noise around us, but we must try to be more aware of those emotions and learn ways to snap out of it. So um, I have a great coach and he's like, if you ever feel the emotion of upset, which we do, and that can happen just like this, a customer can say something and you're like, oh my gosh, or whatever, something happens in your day, you feel this mo moment of like heart, you know, your heart sinks and you feel sick to your stomach. What he says is like, just jump up and down or go play with your kids or do anything to knock that emotion out of you. And sometimes we want to sit in it because as human beings, we want to self-sabotage. So what I try to 
do even for myself. I'm like, okay, Mal, stop, get out of it. Let's just go and go and um, play with Hudson or Havana or you know what, let's just do some push-ups or whatever it might do to just knock me out of that. But being more in tune to that will um, be so effective for your everyday being. So I want everyone to close your eyes and take a moment. Um, I want everyone to close your eyes, <laughs> even though you don't want to, you can shut you off your screen, whatever you want to do. But I really want you to tap into where your desire is held. So this is right, like tap right into here. What are you truly, not your mind, go into your heart, try to get in there. I know it's sometimes it's hard, but try to get into your heart. What are you truly deeply excited about? What do you want from this life that we live? Because remember, we only live one life, right? What do we want in this life? Like truth be told, what do you want in this life? And when you achieve this, what does this make you feel? Like, what does that feel like? Really think about that. What does that make you feel? What would your life look like? Will you have more time traveling? If that's something that you want or spending more time with your family, your kids, the people that you truth, truly care about. Now, when you think about this, as you're closing your eyes, how does this motivate you? Are you getting excited? Like, oh my gosh, I can do this. And this is the self-talk that sometimes we need to have in our heart, not in your head. It's like, there's two different places. And that's where I, sometimes I'll just touch my heart. And it's amazing when you touch it, it like really speaks to you, but what does that make you feel and how does it motivate you now for me? And you guys can slowly open your eyes if you want. I, you know, when I think about this as being at the cottage, you can close your eyes too. You can write this stuff out. What you felt maybe for a moment there, is it being at the cottage? Is it traveling? Is it spending more time with family? Is it, you know, enjoying your babies competing again or doing something that you truly want by achieving this dream, I don't, you know, I don't know enough about Sensi, but whatever levels there are, you know, maybe it's going to give you more time freedom, or maybe it's a bonus that's going to get you to that, you know, that burning desire. So whatever that looks like, what is that going to do for you? And write these things down. I almost say like, after this, I'm like, get a journal out and write everything. What do you want in your life? Don't listen to anybody else. What do you want? Right. There's a lot of noise around us and you just have to remember this is about you. This is your life. This is nobody else's life. So we all have fears and it's so important just to acknowledge them. So the seven forms of fear is fear. So running away from your fears is like, that's what people tend to do. Um, jealousy, hatred, revenge, greed, superstition, anger, all negative, negative forms of self-defeat. And that's what we do for human beings. We're going to, to feel these feelings. So the law of habit and awareness. So being aware of everything in your life, being aware and every being aware of it and every morning and evening, giving you the gratitude of thanks to your desires and believe they are real is really, really important. So gratitude, I try to practice. So there's a lot of fear around us right now with the government and everything that's going on. So digging back deep to your gratitude list is really important. And I don't know if everybody does gratitude, um, but getting into 2021 maybe practicing these tools will be really awesome for you hit 2022, not 21. We're already in 21. <laughs> I skipped a year because of COVID 2022 getting into your gratitude list, just having, um, I normally have a, a, these journals actually I just ordered. Um, they're still not in, but I'll have, um, a gratitude book that I'll fill out, um, every morning and night, um, what I'm thankful for. And it's amazing how, when you continue to write those things, it just is a great, uh, law of habit, a great form of repetition. It is always great because it also brings into being more aware of your language. So attaching strong language and meaning to everything you do is so powerful. And so I'm always about, you know, really writing your things, your, your, your gratitude list down, um, morning and night is so effective. 
being passionate. So in writing that, just trying to bring that passion forward. Um, and then what are your dominating desires, desired thoughts? This will keep you focused on the positive. So um, if somebody does you wrong, just be aware that it's not you, it's them. It has nothing to do with you and bring into your positive. What is it that you're so excited about? So trying to actually behind me is my vision board. I know I told Brandy about this. I don't know if you guys ever got to do one, but I have this in my office because I, in times of like upset or frustration, I look at that and that is literally my like, Oh, okay. I feel so good when I look at this darn vision board, but these guys do work, um, because you're constantly seeing it and it's, it's programmed in your, into your body of what your desire is and the vibration of your desire floats out of you. Right. Cause we're all full of energy. Anyways, I won't get into that, but if you find yourself moving, moving out of the right mindset, do something to knock yourself out of that. So I mentioned that before, I'm just repeating what I'm sharing, shared with you guys before. And then just remembering that you can be and have whatever, whatever you want and really painting that picture for yourself. So what I do is with the vision board is I literally draw, I go on the computer, I print out, um, there's pillars. So there's pillars of finance, there's pillars of love, there's pillars of people that you look up to. So mentors, there's pillars of your business. Um, so there's a cup, there's, I'm just pointing to mine. There's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pillars in your life that you, um, and I can share this with Brandy as well, that if you go on the computer, you print out everything that speaks to you, you print it off your printer, cut it out, and then you put it into the pillars of life. It's awesome. And it's a great exercise to do. And I highly recommend it. So I really ask that you guys, as I end this, is that painting this picture of your life is so awesome. And going into 2022, really paint that picture. Really think about what is it that you want to accomplish in this coming year. And you know what? you get to live this life. Don't listen to the noise around you. Keep plowing forward and go after it because I, you know what, your people believe in you. I believe in you and you can do it. If you're on this call, you obviously are meant to be here and you are worthy of it. You're able to achieve whatever you want. You deserve it. Um, and these are the things I think as women, is there any men on here? I don't think, let me double check. <laughs> But as women, I think we forget that we are worthy and we are deserving of accomplishing these goals that we truly deeply want and desire. And so I just ask that you guys all paint your picture that turned out blurry, blurry, but gratitude and visionary work, truth be told works. And I just challenge you guys all to try to take part in that. Um, because it will change your life. Like, and I'm, tr I, I mean that. So I hope that I did, um, help motivate you guys. I hope this has, um, been helpful for you guys and your team. Um, but again, I'll, I will share the, well, you guys have this on here, but I'll share the documents with you, Brandy. And it's just something that as you move into 22, if you have these new routines, it's amazing what it will accomplish for you. So. I will end with that, but please, do you guys have any questions? This was great, Melissa, because I feel like a lot of us are kind of on the same page with like going into 2022. We're like, all right, we're done with, we're done with this 2020 garbage, 2021 kind of like still pulled in the trigling garbage with it. And we're like, all right, let's start this year off fresh. I feel like doing this nine pillars of a vision board would be extremely successful for each one of us. Everything that you're speaking is literally speaking right to my heart. I totally like when you're like, close your eyes and like separate your, like your brain from your heart. Like that's a huge thing within this business because some people may say things sometimes that's going to hurt you, but like, you have to separate yourself and be like, okay, that's not me. That's them. And when you were like, that's, that's on them. That's not on you. I was like, girlfriend, like I needed to hear that, especially today. Like, oh, like I'm reading the comments and 
I'm just going to look at them too and see if anybody like everybody's like, okay, this is great. Like, this is actually like everything I need (laughs) to hear. And like, it's so wonderful. It's so wonderful. I'm, I'm so grateful to have you in my life. You're such a good friend for doing this and coming on. I'm going to, I'm going to read these Randy. Just a second. I'm going to see if anybody I can help. That's great. I like that Veda, um, even a shattered mirror still shows a reflection. And in many cases, and I think Brit, Brit's on the phone, but um, the mirror, it's a mirroring of not you, right? So if angry customer or somebody comes in your life, it's nothing to do with you. It's a mirroring of themselves, right? And it's so hard or even trying to get into, well, I don't know what that person's dealing with in their lives. Like this, you know, I don't know how they see life. Like this has nothing to do with me. And it's these constant reminders. We have to remind ourselves. Um, and it's right. We're human beings, Molly. We, um, it's, we can't always be in the positive. We are meant to feel emotion and everything can't always be po- like amazing. Like every day, <laughs> like you have to have those negatives. And that is truth. That is truth be told because that's, that's what we want. We're always, as I think, um, we're trying to train our kids to always think that it's never bad. Well, no, you have to have bad, you know? So no, agreed. Yep. Oh, oh, that's great. Thanks, Rebecca. Um, and yeah, vision board, um, Yeah. Well, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot of training in one moment. And I was like, Oh God, there's so much I have to share, but we, I could send some stuff to Brandy and I don't mind jumping on some time. Oh, Megs love ya. Yeah. And, if anybody uh, has any questions, please either throw them in the comments or just unmute yourself and shout your shout it out. I mean, we, yeah. we have time as long as Melissa, if you're okay yeah, to answer I'm a here. few questions, go right ahead guys. I'm here. And you know, it's been a rough, like, oh my God, I I'm reading a book. Well, Brittany's on here too. I think, um, we're reading a book and it's, it's obstacle. Um, um, oh my gosh, sorry. That was, I'm, I'm getting tired. Um, you know, obstacles always lead to opportunities. And sometimes we have to remember that, especially in this time that we're in. And I've told my team even today, I was like, um, guys, like, don't, you know, I know life can get overwhelming and exhausting. And we're all in different States. I can't feel for everybody, you know, and, but just remember that what's going on is an opportunity, right? Opportunity for all of you guys in your business. Um, and again, like you're on here for a reason and you're obviously wanting it for yourself. So you, go out and get it. And just remember that it's only going to, you know, get this fire within you because what is happening is I think what we're dealing with is creating a fire within us. So just go after it then and really take on these tools. And I, and it will make a life difference because it will get you out of your head more often than none. And I think we forget that. And I'm also bad for it. So there might be weeks where there might be a week where it's been a lot of noise. And then I fall off my routine and I'm like, for God's sakes, (laughs) shoot, I fell off my routine. I could tell that in my business. (laughs) Right. And so, Hey, I hear you. I feel you all. And I get it. So just, if you try to continue with, you know, make this regimen, I promise you, you'll make it make different. Like it'll be a big difference for yourself, you know, but we're all taking this together. And that's the truth of it. That's why I was so excited to get on this. Cause I was like, oh, I'd love to do this for you, Brittany. Cause I love to help people and, and be there for you guys. But yeah, the vision board will be great. Cause it's a great reminder and that vision board may change. And sometimes we forget that, like you might have a vision right now, but in two months or three months that might alter. Right. So that happens. And that's why it's really great to do these little exercises weekly because your vision may alter, um, pretty quickly, depending on what, if you're in flow, if you're in your flow. Right. So does anybody have any questions? Anybody else? We actually talk about that, about like our why and that our why within the business is always changing. Like your why, when you first started 
might not be your why like three years in or even like six months into the business. You might be like, oh, this is not the way I I thought it was going to be. Like now my why is now focused on something else. And that is okay because within business, no matter what business you're in, direct sales, like having a, you know, actual business that's in the downtown sector, let's say it's always going to be changing and you always have to kind of pivot your business, especially through COVID. And we, we've all seen this, like we've with Sensi and I know Melissa within your business also, it's very like hands-on and in your face and we're, you know, meeting up with people, but we haven't been able to do that. So we've had yeah. to kind of switch this. So this is why like mindset is a huge thing. And I love that you're doing this time blocking and Sunday setups because that was a, that's a huge thing. Like scheduling things and writing things down, the power of the pen Mm -hmm. is miraculous. Like you have no idea. Like if you are, if you are looking at your business right now and going, okay, what am I going to do for 2022? How, how am I going to grow? How am I going to be successful? just taking time and setting, even if it's 15 minutes every day that you just set a time and you're like, okay, 15 minutes, uninterrupted time that I'm just going to pour into my business. I, I like doing hour time slots because I feel like you can get the most done in an hour and the time literally feels like five minutes and you're done. Um, making that time block and pre-scheduling everything. Well, Brady is the pro pro pre-scheduler. I'm not. (laughs) But yeah, she's taught me a lot too along the way. <laughs> well, you have taught me how to like change my brain set in business because like life is busy guys. We get it. Like everybody is working three, three jobs. Like my, my best friend that lives in Cornwall, she, she just said to me, like, I just picked up an extra job because like, Hey, I, I need the extra money and I'm busy. And I'm like, girl, you're, you're crazy. But like, we get it. Life is busy, but it is how you make your busy. Like, Mm -hmm. are you getting yourself scheduled and setting back and going, okay, I'm going to take my Sundays, make my time and be like, okay, this is my block of time of what I'm doing throughout the week. When you're making yourself a schedule, you don't feel as crazy as what you really think you are, because Mm -hmm. I feel Mm -hmm. sometimes that I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. But when I look at my time block of my schedule for the Monday to Friday, because I only work my business Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday's family, I look and I go, okay, it's not as crazy as what we think it is. No, it's not. And, and it's, um, I said this to one of my teammates and friends, I said to her, I said, you know, um, also just choosing your, where you want to spend your time. Right. So it's easy to, um, waste your time and maybe say yes to things that aren't serving you. So what I mean by that is, um, maybe somebody that you don't really want to hang out with, you say yes to them. Well, you've just, spent time that's not getting closer to your burning desire. So like, what I like to say is that, is that time you're spending getting you closer to what you truly desire, or is it taking you further away of what you truly desire? And your true, your truly desire would be whatever you want in your businesses here, um, wherever you want to be with your kids. So I actually time block time with my kids because I'm such a busy Uh, like not busy. I shouldn't say that word. I'm so actively active in my businesses that I have to time block my time with my kids. So there's no question that somebody can interrupt that time. So, um, so even doing that is a great thing to do. If you are one of me who (laughs) chooses, I'm a, I like to work that I need to actually block that time. But yeah, what I like to say is that, is that yes, that you said to somebody going to get you further to wherever you want to get into your life, you know? So, um, if that makes sense to you guys, I just wanted to add that another thing is, especially for people who are busy and aren't, you know, if you've working two jobs or you're with your kids, there's some really great apps now where you can do your vision board on an app Yes, that's right. it'll do some, um, like daily affirmations and manifesting what you want. And they're all, it's all in the app and then you can go in and change it. So if you're at work on your coffee break, you can like pull up your dream board and like do a little manifesting. It doesn't always have to be something you cut and paste and do at home. I do think those are amazing to do. What is the name of this definitely, 
what what is the name of this app? there's like three different ones i've been th- i've gone through three different ones that i like i went through all of them to kind of see because i only found out about this like this year so there's three uh which one do i use give me a sec oh my god what's it called um i know i'm I over here just, like I think, what is I this think it's magic called law of attraction that i use but there's like i think there's, there's a, a couple whole, there was them. a whole bunch of them mm-hmm. yeah so yeah i'm not gonna yeah. say mine's the best i think i just went through which one had the most reviews. And that was how I picked mine, but <laughs> it was great because I'm not a great copy and paste person. So I ended up just doing that. Plus I find it changes. Like it's not always the same, right? Like what you want changes. Absolutely. Especially like I'm probably one of the oldest ones here. As I get older, what you want changes. My kids aren't little anymore. They're older. Right. So it's yeah. like, I have different you know, things that I want now. So yeah, yeah but yeah. just something to add in there for you guys that you can totally sit on your phone if you're a techie person and do it that way. No, that's a good idea. Karen. Now I have my vision board also on my phone. Oh, nice. Um, so I can, but you know, I don't even look at it. <laughs> I, it's becomes, <laughs> I become numb to it. <laughs> your screensaver. But, yeah. And, well, and that's what it is. It's not your children. <laughs> it is my screensaver, but it's like, yeah, I just forget that it's there. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I find the paper one, but you know what? You got to do what works for you. So yeah. everybody's different. I'm very old school with paper. So yeah, you have to do what works for, with you, but yeah, there are definitely some great apps. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure. That's a good call. Good, good, good point, Carrie. So yeah, I think that'd be a great training for you guys to do. Um, you need lots of time because I try to do it with my team at, um, but sometimes it's like, oh my God, we don't have time because <laughs> it's a lot of work because you have to get right in here. You're like thinking through this stuff because it's important stuff. So, um, but maybe the app is a little bit easier. I haven't, I know people who have used the app. I just haven't really been, I haven't really done the app. So I, yeah, give I that think, one a try. I think it's great if you are someone new to vision boards and manifesting because they'll yes. sort of ask the questions and get you to dig. So sometimes it's nice to have like a little assistance in the beginning. Right. Yeah. Good idea. So that's where I, that's where I find they're great. But again, um, if you're someone that's been doing it every year, then, you know, totally you can just do it yourself, but yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. I love it. My, that's I'm what I need to um, my mom's in the background going, oh, Brandy's downloaded all these apps and um, she's on YouTube right now. <laughs> she, oh she's mocking me. <laughs> I need a good time management app for like my little acti- breaking up all my activities than just using like a Google calendar, you know? Set timers. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I constantly have timers going on. My husband's like, no, what's this one for? I'm like, don't worry about it. That's mine. That's, yeah. <laughs> I love it. About BB-8 going off. I've got an egg egg timer that's BB-8 that goes off, and he's like, "Why is BB-8 going off? Don't worry about it. It's something that I'm doing for work." Well, okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> well, sometimes we need that because that just crushes our focus, right? Okay, yep. can't. Yeah. Um, no, I agree. I I usually just do it based on okay between ten and eleven or four and five or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just give myself. I only have this time, and procrastination is a true problem. So if you, um, big time. Yeah. And so that's another conversation as well that we can do, but usually procrastination is fear. So we just have to enlighten that and be like, okay, no, that's just because that what I'm about to do is something I don't want to (laughs) do. So just be aware. Oh yeah. I've gone through through so much of that with my therapist, my therapist. And I was where I'm like, I don't feel like doing it. She goes, no, that's your fear. And I'm like, yes, I Okay. <laughs> I know, I'm a therapist too, guys. Did you know that? <laughs> <Just joking>. mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you know, there's, it's, it's been a year for that, but I really, yeah, yeah. With, with all this mindset stuff, it starts with like your course. So if you feel like yeah. everything is going off in your life, you need to like drop the business stuff, drop everything and work mm-hmm. on you mm-hmm. first. That's right. Because if you're not fixing like what is going on in your head space, what's going mm-hmm. on like internally, no matter how hard you work on your business, you're never going to feel like you're getting anywhere. So, I mean, you have to take the mm-hmm. baby steps back. If you feel overwhelmed and work life, everything, that's when you need to take back and be like, okay, what can I do for myself? Whether it's going for a walk, whether it's journaling, whether it's whatever to like reconnect, turn off music and everything, and just listen to yourself because mm-hmm. otherwise you're just going to keep getting more and more buried and more and more lost. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like I typed earlier, you know, if you're feeling, and this is 
I've learned through therapy, obviously, and, you know, I'm not a spring chicken here. So, you know, we, stuff I've learned through my many years on this earth, but, um, uh, going through and like, if you're feeling like it's a crappy day and you're having a hard time getting out of that funk, don't get on your, don't get on yourself for that. Lean into it. Say, okay, this must be my body recharging. This must mean me. I need to take a slow day. I need to take a day to just feel this. And then tomorrow I can get back into it. Now, if you're starting to like, if all of your days are like that, you might need some help, obviously. But if you, if you if your body is telling you to take a day, you need to take a day and you not, need to not feel bad for that. Like I know no. there's a lot of us here who are work, 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 work. And if we're not doing something, we're kicking ourselves for it, mm-hmm. but don't do that. That's just your body telling you or your brain telling you, Hey, I just need a day, sis. You need to just like yeah. turn things off and let it be because I am just overwhelmed. Cause then once you get that out of your system, you feel more refreshed if you lean into it. But if you keep trying to fight it, you're going to keep feeling horrible because you're putting that on yourself. Does that make sense? So yeah, it's like, you have to give yourself permission. Yeah. Give yourself some grace and give yourself your permission to just have that day to be like, yeah. I'm turning everything off, whatever. Yeah. If I need to go for a walk, I can't feel bad that the kids want to play with me because I need this for me so I can be a better mom. I mm-hmm. need this for me so mm-hmm. I can be a better business person. I need to turn off my notifications for my team right now because I need to recharge my own body battery. That's right. And I think that's one thing that's really positive that's come out of the pandemic a little bit because, you know, we were always go, 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 go serving other people, which I'm not saying that's bad, but I'm Mm -hmm. saying that from a mental health standpoint, you you can't always go, go, go. And people are starting to really tune into that. So that's what I love about these mindset talks and stuff, because like, you know, you can recharge and you can, some people are new to it. Some people are new to like, okay, I need to start at the core of this before it can yeah. grow and spread. That's right. So yeah, that's, okay. that's my two seconds. Uh, big honestly, like hearing Molly talk and say this, like guys, the biggest thing that I've learned in 2020, 2021, like COVID, whatever, it's okay to say no. Exactly. Like yeah. if, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling like life is too much right now, it is okay to say no, unfortunately, I cannot take that on right now. Mm -hmm. I have enough on my plate. I would love to help you in the future, but at this time right now, I unfortunately don't have any extra time and that's okay. No one is going to shun you or make you feel bad about taking some extra time for yourself or just saying no. And And if they do, you don't need that negativity in your life. Yeah. No. If they do, then that's someone that isn't thinking about you, doesn't care about you as a person, and you need to cut that to ISIS. Yeah. And Molly is correct. It's okay to say bye bye to family, friends, um, people that are toxic and negative in your life that bring you down. If they are not filling your cup up in some way or somehow throughout your, I don't want to say interaction because that's not the that's not the right way, but like if they're not bringing something to your life, it's okay to be like, "Mm, I don't need you in my life. I I don't need this in my life. And you you know, somebody's sucking all your good energy. Like if you're around someone, every time you're around them, they just drain you. And again, there's times you're like, you don't have that joy. Like I've got, I've had teenage girls where that it was draining, but those are my daughters. (laughs) There are people in your, where you're like, well, I have to put up with this, but there are people (laughs) like, you know what? Like, it just adds to my stress and anxiety. Like I just, I have to say, you know what? I'm better to not be around it because it's not helping my mental state. But another thing I wanted to add quick is the power of putting your phone down. And I think, and I was bad for that when my kids were younger is I would have my phone because I was business, business, business. And like, I'm good now where like after dinner, there's nights where like my phone is on the charger at six o'clock. Guess what? If somebody really needs me, I'll answer it in the morning or somebody on the team page will answer it. But it's, and, and, you know, I remember like there was a couple of times where my daughter said, like, get off your phone. We're watching a movie. And I was like, you're right. Why do I have this phone sitting here? And then I'd be checking. And I was like, so now I'm really conscious of that. And I think especially if you have little kids is God, put the phone, like, just be like, hey, I'm putting the phone away. And there are days I take the whole day and I go, you know what? I'm just not doing it today. I'm not. I'm putting my phone away. 
So my yeah, I love that me, advice. My yeah. mom taught me like one thing, like the days are long, but the years are short. So yeah. you yeah. have to sit back and go in five, 10 years, is this really going to matter? Is it yeah. really going to matter if I'm sitting back for an extra hour, three hours of not responding to this message? No, 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 it's not going to matter, but it's going to matter to your son or your daughter right. who needs you right at that very point, whether it's something to do with homework, just to be there for a little bit of support emotionally, whatever it is, they're the people that matter to you because I'm sorry, I hate to say this because it's the business room, but like customers are going to come and go. Your family is there for life and mm-hmm. supporting your family is the number one. Orville and Heidi say family is number one. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to think of. Like 2022 should be the best step forward for us to be like, you know what, as much as I love my business, I love my sense. I love my peoples. My family is going to come first this year. Mm -hmm. Mm And my, and my, myself and my mental health are going to come first always. Yeah. And what that will do is also unravel you. Um, it's amazing what that does. Because actually your business gets stronger when you decide what truly matters. And it may not make sense, but it does work. <laughs> so, because you're in flow when you finally find that, right? So then your, your business just, you're like, wow, how's this happening? Like, it's just blossoming. Well, that's because you're in, in a moment of peace, right? So yeah, that was really good advice, Brandy. Absolutely. All right. Anyone else have any questions or anything they want to add? We're coming up on our end of our hour here. So just wanted to open it back up. I know. Sorry, Melissa, we get a little chatty in here and we start just. (laughs) No, this is good. It's great. So I I want to make sure we, we stay, stay on track. We're the same. (laughs) Isn't used to us if you haven't been with the chat here. So I did promise my team, I would do the, um, team draw though. So we had a team draw going from the, um, the 10th or sorry, from the first to the 10th. And I said that I would, um, all right, you go ahead then. So, um, am I able to jump on as a screen share? Let me, you should be, I think I opened it up to everybody. Oh, yes, you could, you could Brandy. All right. Let's see if it will allow me because I'm technically not okay. Okay. Um, so we did a little draw and uh, let me see, how do I do this? I'm like, not the best. Okay, so everybody's names are in here and I will just spin and click, I guess. And we'll see who, who is the winner winner chicken dinner. Woo! All right, so please. There we go. And we'll just do one more and then we're done. So two winners. Faith and Haley B. All right, guys. I love her. I love how it cheers. Like that's the most amazing. I've actually never seen that before. Yeah, it, I love it. Well, it's it's always that thing all the time. <laughs> it's so great. I love it. So congratulations, Faith and Haley. Um, guys, I love meeting with everybody. I think that um, it kind of fills our cup up as we meet every week because it's de- sometimes life's depleting. And when we kind of congregate together every Tuesday, it's like, this is good. We need this for our soul. So Melissa, come back every week, will you? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Especially oh, with COVID and not being able to get with anyone right now. Like, this is nice that we have like late, you know, night that we all get together. Yeah. No, great. it was a good, you, you guys have good vibes over here. So it's great. We I'm do. Sure we have a really see. cool crew and our, our crew is very positive. We always have like the best Huge. outlook on life and um, try to keep as up as we possibly can. Good. Low negativity. Allowed. That's important, you guys. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. You can you can vent to us, but you can't continue on it. Like you have to be willing for us to come at you with positivity to show mm-hmm. you. Okay, we we hear you. We feel what you're saying, but you can't sit in that sis. All right. You can feel yeah. your moment, but then yeah. let's move forward. 
Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Molly, you're so good. I just love you, sis. You're so good. <laughs> With my crazy face tonight. Mm. Okay. So Girlfriend, I'm going on like literally six hours sleep in the last oh. 48 hours. So baby yeah. or puppy? Puppy. Yeah. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm up every two hours and I'm like, I swear every day I wake up and I'm like, oh, do I have eyeballs here? And then I'm like, Josh, make me a coffee with bellies, please. And then you wake up your son and say, this is your puppy. Get your ass up and take him out. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, I actually, so he's up at five o'clock every morning, Mr. Holden. So he does the morning let's outs and then kind of when he gets home from school. So it's nice. really good. It's nice. Yeah. Okay, he wanted, ladies. Yes, Harry, what, right. what you need, Ken? Who's on poop duty? Actually, Holden. Aw. Oh, kid. <laughs> he that is so obsessed with this puppy. I'm totally okay with it. <laughs> so cute freaking amazing (laughs) all right ladies well thanks so much again for coming next week it's going to be allison's turn again and she's going to be talking about mad mimi um which is Uh, a email service so she's going to be sharing all all of the knowledge i'll be ready thank you melissa Uh, thank you guys thank you so much melissa have a great night everybody bye bye molly bye bye